What's up, everybody? Welcome to part five of Californium. If you're ready, I'm ready. Roll the intro. Let's go, pal. All right, guys. So, like I said, part five of our uh, game playthrough of Californium. I haven't played in a long time. So I thought I would try to at least try to finish the series. I think I got two chapters left to do. So this might be a couple more videos uh, before I'm done this series altogether. Um, so yeah. So hopefully I remember how to play this game. It, it wasn't that hard. It was just a lot of talking and clicking. So let's get right back into it. All right. Oh yeah, we were in the drilling level. Uh, very futuristic. So I, re I remember what the game is. I remember all the details of the game uh, as much as I can. All right, so we're in the sort of futuristic uh, level. So we'll start in my room to see if there's any... I have to find those freaking little um, tags there, if I remember. Ooh, it's so futuristic, this one. MMC. Am I on the sun? The fuck is this? Cool. Martian Mine Cons Consortium. Okay. Right. I'm real high up. Oh my god! It's going down. Oh my god, look at all the fucking people here. Greetings, Master Green. Good morning. Mr. Briskin is putting the final touches to the Commander's Museum. The Glimung has just confirmed it will attend the inauguration and thanks you kindly. Ambassador Vogue apologizes, but he cannot be at the ceremony. He suggests attending via telepathy. This day will leave its mark on the solar system. Glory be to the Great Book. You say so? Commander, we have just captured this bio-age. A miner has never infiltrated the dome before. <clears throat> we must consider this intrusion as a major security breach. Elvin Green, you're nothing but a demiurge trading with mechanical demons. Hey, now, wait, wait a minute. Damn the man who betrays his human brothers what? and entrusts machines with his destiny. Your androids shall be powerless to stop us. It is time for the Great Revolt. What are you talking These about? These are merely psychotic projections, Master. The human spirit is so imperfect. We'll interrogate him. He'll tell us if he's alone. All right, all right. Hello there. Master, your attire is sublime. That brown Schweitz toga is simply Stunning! You're looking younger by the day. What's your secret? Ah uh, ah uh, uh. No entry allowed. Not everything is ready yet for your museum's inauguration. Please be patient. I promise it will be amazing. Amazing. All right, if you say so. Father, excuse oh. the interruption. You've received an ultra-level security flash comm. Asymmetrical decryption complete. Commander Green from MMC Console. Great Commander, according to our security department, 
Consortium has just lost control of the Seronius Cer Tolus mine site. The female Tia Trobos, that was my ex-girlfriend in the uh, in the normal world, and several bio H H's were spotted near the dome. The Great Council of the MMC specifically uh, specifically asked you to speed up the process of replacing human workers with new generations since before the rebellion takes over all the Martian sites. I have already ordered Filigan's spy to move to the dome and intercept the female Troberg as well as her accomplices. He will terminate their cycle. Whoa, terminate? What, what the, okay. Commander, we arrested this Bio-H as he was making his way to the museum to carry out a suicide attack. You crazy? He claims a Martian entity ordered him to sacrifice himself to free humans from slavery. We'll destroy your idolatrous temple. With the help of the eternal U-2642, we'll put an end to this unholy dictatorship. Repent, Elvin Green. Or Hagia Thea will come for you and put you to the sword. We've sent two phalangists to your friend Stavros's place. We suspect him of having been in contact with the female Trauberg. Okay. Commander, we've just scanned the area. All factory sampling is conclusive. A Bio-H female has recently been in this area. We flashed the Centurion. He's on his way to the consoles for a full report. Bio-H Stavros has admitted to having had contact with the female Trauberg. He's a high security risk. We request authorization to terminate his cycle. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? Elvin, thanks God you're here. The Simuls know Theo was at Stavros. You knew she had escaped from Saronius Tolus? She gave message to Stavros. She's waiting for you at the museum. The Simuls say Theo wants to assassinate you, to cut off your head. Crazy! Crazy! She says she wants to free the humans. She thinks she's the Messiah or what? I never seen Simuls all over the place like this before. I'm sorry. They know Thea's going to the museum. Stavros had no choice, Elvin. He, he don't want to lose his life for a crazy lady. Oh, dear God. Uh, do I still have to find those tags, or am I just doing story shit right now? go to the museum master the miners have sabotaged the alpha drill everything is blocked we will have to go three big kills deep to repair the rotator head these humans have no respect for machines that sucks for you These humans spread their foul stench throughout the entire zone. They live like animals and dare to rise up against us. And now these savages wish to destroy our magnificent museum. It's a sacrilege, Master. A sacrilege. Alright. Can you, like, get the fuck out of the way? God damn it. I just reported to the console. We think the high doses of anxiolytics 
given to the miners have caused a breakout of mass psychosis. The BioHs are convinced that the drilling operations have awoken a Martian deity, U-2642, who is commanding them to rise up. We're up against a planet-wide revolt. It's time to take action, Commander. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, the TVs, I forgot about that. Five more. My stupid mouse keeps fucking going out of feel. Come on now. There you go. Alright, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Hello, sir. Greetings, Commander. You must have seen the Centurion. The contagion is spreading to every site, from Saronius Solus to the Solus Planum Plateau. Production is blocked, and the Consortium cannot understand why you aren't reacting. We have to get rid of the Bio-H's, Elfin. Those fanatics will blow up the dome in the end. They're just workers. They're not good for anything anymore. We'll replace them with synth, and everything will get back to normal. According to the simules, you can't deal with the situation because you're getting soft. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I've always been there for you, right? So let me take care of it. I'm the Consul. I'll settle this my own way with the Legion. We'll deal with Theo once and for all. Uh, no.
Where the fuck is this thing? Where is it? Okay, let's go downstairs because I know there's one more down there. I think. Oh, I got one more. I think it's the one upstairs with the light. It's the one with the light. See, there's a light turning on here. There it is. Ruling over Mars like a Roman emperor. <laughs> Who could have imagined such a destiny, huh? But this world is not enough for you. You are preparing to manipulate the layers of space-time as if you were playing dice. Oh, you are a fascinating case of insatiable ambition, my friend. Is everything all right, Father? A severe yes, disruption yes. has just affected your electrosensorial field. It's a very strange phenomenon, an intrusion from an unknown source. From now on, Commander, we take orders from the Consul. The Legion is finally going to cleanse Mars of all the BOHs. Shouldn't have done Let that. Let us write the last chapter of your great book. You've given us the universe, Master. We are here to serve you. Glory be to Commander Elvin Green. Father, a quick vibratory analysis of this Simul's cortical spheroids has revealed a semantic combinatory tension superior to the reference threshold. The probability of psychological manipulation is high. Following procedure, please consider the Simul Centurion as a hostile entity from now on. The time has come and the kingdom is nigh. The time of restoration of all things as it was before the fall. The future will retreat into the present where it will become truth. She struck him twice on the neck with all her might and took off his head, took off his head. Just as Judith decapitated Hulafern, Elvin Green, you will succumb to Hagiatea's scimitar. I don't like this. We, his worshippers, have gathered together and await the hour of the ultimate sacrifice. By the grace of you, 2642, we shall demolish your black iron prison. Our faith will triumph over your mechanical devils. All right, I guess. We are looking for six.
I said her place looks like poo. Oh, did I just honey dick myself? Like Odysseus, leaving his kingdom of Ithaca to go to war, Commander Green pursues his relentless quest for other realities. What poet shall write the Odyssey of Elwyn, set in the multiple dimensions of time? Oh. Father, the phenomenon has just recurred. The neuromorphic circuit analysis detects neither a pirate engram nor a virus. It could be a quantum footprint from an unknown source. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Oh, there's a TV right there. God damn it. Let's go see my apartment if I actually have one there. Totally forgot it was a TV. Oh, yeah, there is. How many we're looking for? Six. Oh, uh, I think there's one in here. Am I going into like a big pile of rubble?
There you go. Whoa. Yo. I'm going into total fucking war destruction here or something. There has to be one in here. Two left. What's with this fucking pl plant? I don't know where it's supposed to be. God damn it. Alright, now there's just this fucking plant thing. There you go, I got it. We are the hollow men. We are the stuffed men, wrote the great T.S. Eliot. You rule over ghosts, Elvin, over soulless machines and human beings intoxicated on visions of the apocalypse. Father, an in-depth scan of your memory layers to seek out this intrusion has detected an anomaly. It's a memo trace of a young human called Alice without any associated memory. Most likely a quantum aberration. Don't worry about it. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Follow me everywhere, me time gamer, Twitter, Facebook, you right here, YouTube, and um just type me time gamer and you'll probably find me. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.